Breaking news was the first turkey Mexican. Keep watching to find out. Hola caracoles y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Yo soy Cory, I am Cory and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas! The majority of people love this time of the year either because of the food of the presents, como yo, like me, or just because it's an opportunity to be con nuestros seres queridos, with our loved ones. But did you know that the tradition of having a turkey for Christmas dinner comes from Mexico? Well, stay tuned, because in today's video, I will tell you five things you didn't know about Christmas in Mexico and some typical dishes served in Christmas. So, comencemos! Before I go further, we publish five weekly Spanish lessons on our YouTube channel. So, make sure to click on the subscribe button and the bell and you won't miss a lesson. Número uno, rompemos piñatas. We break piñatas. Las piñatas are one of the most popular Christmas traditions in Mexico. Nowadays, you can find piñatas of pretty much anything, but the original piñatas are shaped like a seven-pointed star representing los siete pecados capitales, the seven deadly sins. By breaking a piñata, which, by the way, are made of clay or cardboard, sins are destroyed and the sweets and fruits that are inside the piñata fall. Oh, and we sing a song while we do it, blindfold, because we're Mexicans. Número dos, pedimos posada. We ask for asylum. Pedir posada, asking for asylum, is one of the most deeply rooted traditions in Mexican Christmas celebrations. Through Christmas carols, it is a night representation of Mary and Joseph's journey, asking for asylum to give birth to baby Jesus. Los invitados se dividen en dos grupos. Guests are divided into two groups. One stays inside the house representing the owners of La Posada, the shelter, while the others are outside the house asking to come in. The chants begin and at the end los dos grupos se reúnen. The two groups come together to start a gratitude party for letting them in. Yeah, a party. Posadas normally start on December 16 and last until December 24. Additionally, las posadas se celebran en la noche y a la luz de las velas. Posadas are held at night and under candlelights. By the way, if you'd like to ask for posada in the loving community of our Spring Spanish Academy, check out the free Spanish training we have on our website. In it, you'll discover the method that we use in the Spring Spanish Academy to teach you Spanish. We give you some free Spanish lessons and show you how you can join us in our academy and community. Oh, and before I forget, if you click the link in the description, you will find some free sample Spanish lessons from our academy. Número 3. Hacemos el Maratón Guadalupe Reyes. We do Guadalupe Reyes a marathon. No, no estoy hablando de correr. I'm not talking about running or doing anything related to exercise or working out. And this might be the tradition de la que estoy menos orgullosa, that I am least proud of. This tradition begins on December 12th in commemoration of the day of the Virgin of Guadalupe, hence the name, and ends on January 6th, El Día de los Reyes Magos, the day of the three wise men. 
It consists of toasting with bebidas alcohólicas, alcoholic beverages, during the festivities todos los días, every day, symbolizing the excesses that are experienced when celebrating so many Christmas parties so close to each other. ¡Salud! El llamado Maratón Guadalupe Reyes comenzó en la década de los 90. The so-called Guadalupe Reyes Marathon started in the 90s. Número 4. Vamos de recalentado. We go reheating. Esto no se acaba hasta que se acaba. This is not over until it is over. As you will soon learn, Mexican Christmas dinners are epic. But el recalentado, which translation would be more or less be the reheated, is simply espectacular. Spectacular. Since we celebrate Christmas by having dinner on December 24th, we like to go and eat others leftovers the next day. Los niños juegan con sus juguetes, the children play with their toys, and the family and friends gathers again. Me da curiosidad, I find it curious, because each household has its own special Christmas dishes, and normally they are presented very well, but the next day is all about tortas and tacos filled with el recalentado, the reheated leftovers. Yum, 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 yum. And yes, very often these leftovers also consist of turkey, our invention. More about that in a second. La comida sabe mejor en el recalentado. Food tastes better at the reheated. Número 5. Tenemos nuestra propia flor navideña. We have our own Christmas flower. This beautiful bright red flower adorna casas, negocios, oficinas, adorns homes, business, offices, and any type of establishment in Navidad aquí en México, on Christmas here in Mexico. Its intense red color makes them striking and representative. They only blossom in cold seasons and the Mexica, one of the civilizations established here, use this plant in ritual celebrations como un símbolo de pureza as a symbol of purity and new life for dead warriors, which they associated with the red color of blood. La flor de Nochebuena es de color rojo brillante. The Christmas flower is bright red. Bonus time! Typical Christmas food. Those are some of the many things we do para celebrar la Navidad en México to celebrate Christmas in Mexico. But here comes the yummy part. ¿Qué comemos en Nochebuena? What do we eat on Christmas Eve? In Mexico, the holiday of December 24th is usually celebrated with family and it is usually held relatively late at night. Uno de los platos tradicionales navideños es el pavo o guajolote. One of the typical Christmas dishes is turkey. And once again, Mexico did it first. The turkey is originally from here. The Aztecs called it guajolote, a word that comes from Nahuatl and means jungle clown or water clown. The bird was introduced to the Spanish during the conquest. Y el resto es historia. And the rest is history. Other typical dishes would be bacalao a la vizcaína, which is salted cod fish prepared with olives, tomatoes, or onions. Also, puerco de lomo ahumado, pasta, ensalada de manzana con nuez, lechón, pierna envinada, smoked pork, loin, pasta, apple, and nut salad, baked pork, white pork shank. <sighs> Muy bien! ¿Cuál fue tu dato favorito? Which was your favorite fact? ¿Cuál es tu tradición navideña favorita? What's your favorite Christmas tradition? Let me know in the comments. 
Have you noticed you've been learning Spanish with chunks in this video? Well, they are part of the method we use in our videos and in our academy that helps you speak Spanish super rápido, super fast, without having to memorize word lists and grammar rules. You will find out more about it in our free and deaf Spanish training. The link is in the description below. And that was all for today. Thank you so much. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. And Merry Christmas! Oh, 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 oh! And I see you next time, guys! Probably next year. Bye-bye! Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share the video with your friends.